Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 7th of 2021. Well, it is titled NGC 6559 east of the lagoon. So what do we see here? Well, looking a little bit to the east of the Lagoon Nebula, we see a rich star field within the Milky Way galaxy. So pretty much almost everything we see when we look out at the sky is within our galaxy, every star that we see. And except for other galaxies, things like Andromeda, uh, most other objects that we see with our naked eyes are all part of our galaxy. There's only a handful of things that are not. And here we're looking at one of these star forming regions and it's associated with three different types of nebulae. So here we will see dark nebulae, the dark dusty tendrils sc scattered around here, which are actually denser concentrations of material and regions where stars are forming right now. So we can't see into them because of how much dust is there. We can't look through them. However, if we could with the infrared light uh, look into these stellar nurseries, we would see stars just beginning the process of star formation formation and they are still shrouded in their cocoons and eventually will break out and will look slightly different than what we see right now. Now the other glows that we see the glows bright glows that we see in red and blue are two other types of nebulae also often associated with star formation. The red is emission nebula and that occurs when hydrogen gas is excited and caused to glow. So hydrogen gas the most common element in the universe is when excited gives off a specific red color of light and we can see that and it's excited by ultraviolet violet radiation from hot stars that have just formed. So it is also associated with star formation. The blue light is a reflection nebula, which is the scattering of light from those bright stars off of dust grains around them. So in regions where the dust is less dense and the stars have already formed fully formed, we then begin to see a reflection nebula. So here we can see various different stages and parts of star formation in this one region. And we see many examples of this within our Milky Way galaxy, which is an example of a spiral galaxy having a lot of uh, dust and cool gas that is able to continue forming stars as it has been doing for 10 billion years. So that was our picture of the day for October 7th of 2021. It was titled NGC 6559 East of the Lagoon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be when stars play guitars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.